We got 30 opponents with a 3.75. Are you kidding me right now? Enemy claimed zone B. Down, boy. You're in the lead. You catch zone B. You have advantage. I envy your strength, Titan. All right, guys, Arc 3.0 has been out for quite some time now, and if you guys are like me, you've probably put quite a few builds together, and maybe even like me, found the builds that you like. However, I gotta let you know, I was wrong. I overlooked a build, and I thought I wouldn't like that build, you know, I'm not gonna try it, and oh my, was I wrong, and I'm gonna show you how broken this build really is. Before we jump into it, this is a shotgun centric build, which a lot of people on Destiny like shotguns and they know how to use shotguns. I, on the other hand, have been dreadful with shotguns. And I mean, I, I, I really couldn't get any kills with shotguns. I was very terrible with it. So I decided one day, let's go ahead and make the ultimate shotgunner build and see if I like it or not and see if I can actually get into shotgunning where maybe I'm not crutching this really broken build. So again, if you're not very good at shotgunning or you just wanna be the shotgun god, you need to pay attention to every single step that I go over here because it made someone like me that's terrible at shotgunning do things like that in the video that you just saw and that you're going to see at the end of this video. All right, so most importantly, guys, we are on arc. Let's go ahead and uh, just really quickly go over the abilities, the aspects, the fragments. Uh, so please keep up. Uh, we're rocking with the thruster because it has the smallest amount of cooldown, and we're gonna go over that in a little bit. Uh, I'm using a strafe lift, you can use whatever. I'm using seismic strike. Make sure you guys are using seismic strike. It is so good for getting in and out of trouble. Uh, fuck, don't go this way. Fuck! Ah! 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 Fucking bitch! Get on the fucking ground! Now I'm using a pulse grenade. You guys can use whatever. Uh, over here, this is the most important part. Well, one of the most important parts: Juggernaut. Okay, uh, with full class ability. Again, why we want that smaller class ability cooldown with the thrusters compared to all the other options that we have. With full of class ability energy and after sprinting for a short time, you gain a frontal shield that blocks incoming damage. When the frontal shield breaks, your class ability energy is depleted. Okay, now underneath that it says, well amplified, the shield blocks significantly more damage before it breaks. That's also very important. So again, you wanna be running 100 resilient so you get your class ability back. And over here, I'm using Knockout. Uh, technically, you could use uh, Touch of Thunder, but I'm using Knockout. Uh, critically wounding a target or breaking their shield infuses your melee attack with arc energy, increases your melee range and damage for a short time. Defeating targets with melee attack starts health regeneration and makes you amplified. Again, that whole amplified health regeneration. I don't know why you wouldn't be using the knockout. Uh, down here, uh, using Spark of Recharge while critically wounded, your melee and grenade energy recharge more quickly. Spark of Resistance while surrounded by combatants, you're more resistant to incoming damage. Again, this is a very aggressive, close build. You're going to be, uh, you know, in you're going to be surrounded quite a few times. Uh, taking melee damage briefly increases your outgoing melee damage. I kind of just use this for that 10 resilience. But again, if someone punches me first, they're going down. I'm talking down, down. All right, uh, next. Very important. We got the Antithius Wards. Sliding reflex projectiles. All right. Let's actually uh, read the full description. Improve slide. See, that's a huge thing. Is this is this is going to give us a much better slide? Now, sliding after sprinting for a short time reflects incoming projectiles. So, what's really cool? You're going to be running with Juggernaut, and you have a shield. You're also running 100 resilience. Then, once that shield breaks and your class ability, you know, goes away, you slide. Now you have another shield that is actually reflecting their bullets and sometimes even hitting them and getting you close enough to hit a shotgun shot. Now, um, I went with dual 
shotgun targeting because again, I really wanted to lean all into the shotgun build and see what I could do with it. And I do enjoy it, but I don't really think it's that necessarily rock two shotgun targeting, but I did and I'm loving it. Uh, using the shotgun dexterity, you always wanna be able to pull that shotgun out really fast. And this is another huge part of this build. Make sure you guys are rocking this right here. But um, don't worry about the first part. Become charged with light by rapidly defeating multiple combatants with fusion rifles and shotgun, that's cool. But the second is what you're really looking for. Greatly increases the ready speed of fusion rifles, shotguns, submachine guns, and swords. And it doesn't say this, but it actually uh, has sidearms in there as well. Yeah, it doesn't say it, but yeah, go ahead, put a sidearm and test out how much faster it pulls out with that mod equipped, and that's ARC. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys two or three of the shotguns that I like using with this build. I got the 7th Seraph CQC-12. Now again, slide shot. It's gonna give me a little extra range, reload my weapon. I uh, got the snapshot uh, only because I'm rocking the full choke. I don't really like to rock any shotgun with full choke unless it has snapshot. We got the masterwork of handling. So, uh, you know, in the last uh, couple of days, racked up almost 500 kills with this, okay? Now, uh, up here, we got a nice little slide shot, opening shot, Wastelander. Only 13 on that one, but again, um, I'm having a hard time pairing it with an exotic. If you guys can let me know in the comments what exotic uh, primary uh, energy weapon. I've been using uh, Risk Runner and Terrabot. I don't really like it with that. Let me know in the comments what you guys uh, would be using with a Wastelander. Um, but I also have a Reese Walker with Firmly Planted in Iron Reach. And again, when you're sliding, Firmly Planted does kick in for that extra aim assist. Yeah. So again, those are my, uh, you know, shotguns of choice. And then lately I've actually been really loving the Quicksilver Storm. It's been slapping as you guys can see in all the footage. So again, whole point of this build is have that 100 resilience, have that shield up. When it breaks, you slide, get another shield and shotgun them to death. All right guys, that's pretty much it. Like I said, very quick video, but it's extremely broken and it's really fun. I overlooked it. Uh, maybe some of you guys have already tried this out and you guys probably had a lot of fun with it. It just took me this long to have fun with it. If there's anyone out there struggling with shotguns and you don't know how to shotgun, you're not very good with shotgunning, this will definitely help you in the right direction. Again, eventually you're probably not going to want to crutch this build for those shotguns. However, when you're testing the waters, go ahead and uh, see if you like it. Um, I definitely, um, I'm not a shotgun main, that's for sure. I love testing out all different weapons in the game. But man, this week of testing this build, it's been really fun. And a lot of, what more can I say? Just fun. Yeah. This is a very fun build. If you guys want to have some fun, do this build. I've been your host, White Kanye the Great. I'm a real life super villain. We got all kinds of stuff cooking up here on the channel from Lightfall giveaways to a new map. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to spoil it. You guys just come on by the live streams. We're live every single Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. I will see you guys all there. Have a great night. And the Tom Dickery that we got going on, guys. Dead ass. What's the, what, Bobby, what's Tom Dickery? Dickery, Dickery, do? The Dickery boys. Oh, I'm made of Dickery, do. You dead ass right now, bro? Enemy has advantage. You guys dead ass. You want to face White Kanye, the motherfucking rot? You wage war like a true titan. titan. You have zone Suck advantage. my Ploto, bro. You want to get sucked off by a Ploto? <gasps> The pressure on. They have advantage. Double down. Nobody want to carry all the heavy ass wood around. Ah, that was cool. I don't know how that happened, but fucking dang it. 
victory imminent.